To all of us in America, happy 4th of July. It is Independence Day. And to our friends around the world, we pray that you will enjoy this presentation also. Do you remember the singer Kate Smith? Well, Frank Sinatra considered her the best singer of the time. And he said that when he and a million other guys first heard her sing the song God Bless America on the radio, they all pretended to have dust in their eyes wiping away a tear or two. Well, here are the facts. The link at the bottom will take you to the video showing the very first public showing of God Bless America. And you may need to cut and paste this into your browser. But before you watch that, you should also know the story behind the first public showing of the song. The time was 1940, and America was still in a terrible economic depression. Hitler was taking over Europe, and Americans were afraid that they would have to go to war. It was a time of hardship, a time of worry for most Americans. Remember, this was the time just before TV, when radio shows were huge, and American families sat around their radios in the evening, listening to their favorite entertainers, and no entertainer of that era was bigger than Kate Smith. Kate was also large, plus size, as they now say in the popular phrase still used today, is in reference to her. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Kate Smith might not have made it big into television, but her voice coming over the radio, she was the biggest star of her time. Kate was also very patriotic, and it hurt her to see Americans so depressed and Americans so afraid of what the next day would bring. She had hope for America and faith in her fellow Americans. She wanted to do something to cheer them up, so she went to the famous American songwriter Irving Berlin, who also wrote the song White Christmas. She asked him to write a song, a song that would make Americans feel good again about their country. When she described what she was looking for, he said, well, he said, I have a song that I have had for years, and I've never used it. He went to his files, and he found a song that he had written, but never published, 22 years before way back in 1917. He gave it to her, and she worked on it with her studio orchestra. She and Irving Berlin were not sure how the song would be received by the public, but they both agreed that they would not take any profits whatsoever from God Bless America. Any profits would go to the Boy Scouts of America. Over the years, the Boy Scouts of America have received millions and millions of dollars in royalties from this song. The video starts out with Kate Smith coming into the radio studio and the orchestra and the audience are seen. She introduces the new song for the very first time and starts singing. After the first couple of voices, her voice in the background is still singing but the scenes are shown from the 1940 movie, You're in the Army Now. And at the 420 mark of the video, you will see a young actor in the movie sitting in an office reading a paper. It is Ronald Reagan. To this day, God Bless America stirs the public feelings and pride in our country. Back in 1940, when Kate Smith went into the song to raise the spirits of fellow Americans, I doubt 
that she realized how successful those results would be. During that time, it lifted Americans out of hardship and worry, at least for a brief moment, and for many generations of Americans to follow. Now that you know the story of the song, I hope that you will take the time to enjoy its treasure even more. Many people don't know that there's a lead into the song that usually starts with God Bless America. So here is the entire song sung in its entirety. Click on the link below. And again, happy 4th of July, Independence Day. <laughs> 